So, it's the day after I was able to finally take the JFK Air Train. And honestly, I'm shocked that my video riding the train back to um, Brooklyn actually has more views. But I'm back on Staten Island. And this morning, I just want to go get myself some Krispy Kreme. Like, because we've been experiencing heavy rain since last night. And, like, we're definitely going to feel some this weekend. Because I know this weekend we're going to have the remnants of Hurricane Debbie. So, you know, in the meantime, might as well just enjoy myself and everything. Because, you know, I'm still on vacation. So, I might as well just take it easy. Let's see. So... All I'm smelling is a bunch of perfume over here. Ah, uh, here they are. <sighs> like, I would take that college ruled one if it wasn't, like, if there was, um, no, like, the stickers that I got are too big. I'm sorry. Wait, let's see what else is here. <sighs> I love how this notes almost like the cover looks like a Bible. Like if you don't have a gray Bible, but still <laughs> that's something. <laughs> that's something. Just when I was talking about a Bible joke, like here's a church notes book. I'm like <laughs> in my mind I'm like what if what if they're not Christian or whatever? Or and even if they're not Christian, what if their denomination doesn't use a cross? Who knows? Yeah, definitely this one. Okay, I got my dream journal. Uh, which, it's not much of a dream journal, but it's basically one that could, you know, okay, help me to be able to write certain things down and stuff. And I'm trying to be careful around staff because I don't want the whole you can't record in here, which I've recorded in here several times, but you know, it depends on the person. The pizza um, hut may be gone, but at least the Starbucks is here. But like, you you can't go you can't go inside of a Target without seeing a Starbucks. I'll give that to Mariners Harbor. At least they have that. So, I got my book. It didn't even cost two dollars, which I'm happy about. But it was it was a store brand. And once I put my rainbow stickers or whatever on there, then you know. It'll be my official new dream journal, baby. Like, I, all I know is, like, if I end up getting married or whatever, like, I wonder if my wife will have a dream journal as well and stuff. So, uh, next stop, Krispy Kreme. And then afterwards, getting myself a bacon, egg, and cheese because I'm the only one out of all three this morning that wanted one for breakfast. Okay, so I was able to get... Whoops, sorry. That's one of Roa's songs. Like, um, if you follow, if you like, it's one of the songs I listen to on Spotify. But anyway, um, so yeah, I was able to get a good assortment and everything. The cashier, she was so cute. Like, um, she reminded me of one of my cats and everything. Now, um, now of course I referred to my cat Mimi in the past and everything, which I've shown a picture of her in the video and stuff. Um. Maya was her sister and everything. Like, like it was this sweet, chubby cat that we had and everything, but had like this high-pitched meow and stuff. Like, the cashier literally reminded me of her and everything. Not making fun of anyone fat and everything. Like, like I said before, fat people give the give the best hugs, and you know, I'm like I'm trying to lose a few pounds myself. Anyway, so. Yeah, gonna head to the bit, um, get myself a bacon, egg, and cheese, and then, um, afterwards, I'll, I'll drive, I'll drive home and stuff, because the rain's starting to pick up a little bit, like, just such a rainy and dismal day, like, like, it's like a perfect day to just lay in bed and just watch TV, um, I've gotten into Disney's recess, like, now, 
it, it's crazy that for the longest of time, I never really got a chance to watch that show. I'm sure my sister has and everything. Like, I wonder if she even got a chance to, like, show her show her son that show and everything like my my nephew's 11 so like it would be like an awesome show for him to watch like honestly we like i've seen the movie recess schools out like a few times when i was a kid but i never got into the tv series now that i'm watching it like i'm now into like they on disney plus it says season three but i am convinced i am 100 percent convinced that um I'm 100% convinced that this show, I mean, this show has five seasons, but Disney Plus kind of put them all into one. Because, like, seasons one and two had 13 episodes, but mind you, season three on Disney Plus has 39, and I'm like, mm-mm. Um, like, there had to be, like, fewer seasons than that. So, you know, oh, once I get home, I'm going to have my breakfast, and then watch Let's Make a Deal, because it comes on at 10 a.m., um, provided that there's no interruption with breaking news because um, for timeline reference this is um, this this is like the day after Vice President Harris um, elected um, selected her running mate so who knows if we might get interrupted by that or something else I hope not but like you know I just want to like watch TV and um, I'm not trying to make this a political thing before someone rants in the comments or whatever, whether one side or the other, like, frankly, like, the one of the reasons why I'm politically neutral is because of the fact that, like, even if you win, when you, like, what, what you, what you say is gonna last for only, um, four to eight years, and, like, uh, someone else might end up coming in behind and changing the whole thing, like, I think about um, what Walt Disney once said when his friend and uh, his his friend, the late futurist Ray Bradbury, once asked him to become mayor of Los Angeles to be able to help out with the city's traffic issue, Ew, traffic issues that's even going on down to this day. And um, Walt responded jokingly, "Why would I run for mayor when I am already king?" Which when you think about it, like, it's not wrong with the fact that, you know, you need to have a level of control, which is something that, frankly, the political system um, does not have nowadays. Frankly, no matter what country you're in. And, you know, you no, know, like, um, it would have had to been a private venture if he wanted to solve um, certain traffic issues. That's another reason why I wish that the Walt Disney Company would have made Walt's Epcot at least with the preliminary blueprints that he has. I'll put the link in the description for the project of the Epcot film. Um, so that way y'all can see because like I would argue that it that the city is still ahead of its time all these years later. Like it's been almost 60 years since Walt passed away and mind you Ew, the concept is still ahead of its time. All right, so I'm gonna head over, get myself some breakfast, and you know I think I'll end the vlog right here and everything, and um and you know upload it to YouTube and stuff. See y'all later. I just removed the tag off the notebook, and yeah, just going to um just going to um put the stickers on and everything. Hey. Like, some of it is still a little bit, it's sticky. Hey, I don't know if I should properly put some, <clears throat> I don't know if I should properly really disinfect it a little bit. I, I might do that. I've been daydreaming like crazy. I forgot to show this. So, I was able to complete my... The, the revised cover for my dream journal. The only thing is that I got, I don't got enough stickers to put on the back. So I want stickers that have some similarities to this. Like these are some that um, a friend of mine in Jersey City was able to like give me. Um, the two um, stickers um, um, with the Volkswagen bus on the other hand, that's something that a friend of mine that now lives in Pennsylvania 
um, she was able to give me before I moved because she knows that I'm a fan of buses and trains, like, hence my channel. And so basically, like, it's like to give me something bus related, she went with the um, Volkswagen ID Buzz. She did give me another sticker that showed the, um, uh, that showed like a London double decker bus and everything, but I didn't think that that would match well for this. I want everything to match this new dream journal of mine and stuff. Like, what will, what this will contain is basically just a series of, um, ideas or whatever for pending future projects and stuff. Like, um, um, I just got off Twitter and basically I was, well, not necessarily Twitter, but on my other on my other Instagram account, Dream Journal Art Gallery, I was able to briefly bring up um, um, basically kind of a tease with regards to a pending idea for for um, the potential of an underwater resort. Now, if you want to know about it in detail, you can follow me on the Kingdom of Imagination WhatsApp channel, with, where the link, I sh if I'm correct, it should be in the description. And you can become a follower there and, you know, be able to see the updates that I have there air about the potential of that, along with another project that I plan to release in the coming years. Okay, now I'll end this vlog. See y'all later.